y'all's mindsets in kind of taking out of BC? I think it's simple. If we win Thursday, we, we get a chance to play Belmont for a cold conference championship. I mean, I could say a lot of things, but that's just the bottom line. And um, that's pretty much all we're focused on. Well, Coach, I guess uh, what kind of led to this, this two late runs in the second half? Is a six-point game at halftime. You guys kind of turned it on in the second half and pulled away. I mean, I think we defended them a little bit better. Our, our offense was sloppy in the first half. It was sloppy in the second half. Uh, you know, Jacksonville State, they play hard, and uh, they're very scrappy. And, and a lot of times they dictate the game, and, and you kind of play it the way they play it, which is a credit to their coach. But um, we just had to settle down a little bit. I think we were probably a little tight. Uh, we had a tough game the other night uh, up at Moorhead State, and uh, it just took us a little, little while to get going. But hopefully we got some kinks out, and we'll have a good week of preparation. We've got two tough games in the year. I mean, they're both first place teams, BC Martin and Belmont. I mean, you can't skip ahead of BC Martin and look at the Belmont. Yeah, I mean, that's also a tough game. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we. Do you embrace that challenge? Yeah, I mean, you know, this is going to be a hard game for us to win. I mean, they're they're really good. I think they won seven in a row or something like that. Eight in a row if they won tonight. Um, well coached. I mean, back to back years. I think they've almost won forty games in two years, and um, we got a lot of respect for them. And that's going to be. If we show up, it's going to be a dogfight. We, we anticipate a, a good effort from them. Tell me a little bit about uh, talking to players about the, your bench has really come along. I mean, they were saying the reason why early the season some of the bench wasn't playing, which something you intimated too, is that the, the defensive commitment wasn't the same. Do you feel like those guys have all come along defensively and that's why they're playing now? I think they're better. I just think some of the starters aren't, aren't as good as they were defensively, so we had to go to the bench. We're trying to stay as fresh as we can down the stretch. Uh, we feel like we got a lot of guys who can contribute. It's a long season, and there's still a lot left to play for. And, um, you know, we just want to be as fresh as possible. And we've got some, some good young players on our bench, and um, that's just part of a program is, is playing, playing the guys that you got. And um, guys are getting better every day, Armani Chaney and, and Christian Griggs-Williams. So uh, we're just trying to develop some depth as we go down the stretch. Uh, one thing that you see a lot of your players that um, – that don't score a lot, that play a lot. Like, uh, I think of DeMonte off the top of my head. He, he works really hard, he gets rebounds, defends really hard. Um, mm -hmm. Is that something Samson's starting to do? Is that why he's playing more? Exactly. I mean, he, he really practices hard. He deserves to play more. He just happens to be playing behind someone like DeMontez Lomain, who's who's almost perfect defensively. And then we, we've decided to go a little smaller to speed people up. But um, he was a guy that wasn't playing at all. And then now he's averaging around 10 or 12 minutes. And the only reason he does is because he defends and rebounds. At least defends. He, he still doesn't rebound like we need him to, but at least he defends, you know, halfway uh, good enough to, to get on the floor. Well, Coach, your last run of the game came uh, just after Cam Noon came to the gym. I think if anything, maybe your guys felt some star power in the gym, kind of cranked it up there at the end? Man, I don't know. I, if so, I hope he comes back again uh, the next game, you know. I think it's neat to have. <laughs> Um, you know, the NFL MVP in our gym. Uh, obviously, his brother played here. and He's good friends with our football staff. And, and actually, some, you know, we've got some mutual friends um, in life. And um, we appreciate him coming. We, we had Dominique Rogers Cromartie here, too, who, who's a, a Pro Bowl guy. And uh, I saw a couple former TSU basketball players here, too. So I guess when you win, people come watch you. When you lose, nobody comes watch you. Coach uh, Marcus and I, um, six for eight, seventy-five percent. Was it good shot selection? What's kind of going right for him to have that high shot percentage? You know, he's a good shooter. He's the best shooter we got. It's not even close. Uh, we need him to shoot more. And um, if he shoots it, we all think it's going in. And um, you know, he was able to bail us out tonight. And, and we need him to be aggressive. Um, we, we need Darion Reddick to be aggressive. He's a good shooter. But but tonight, Rope happened to, to lead us with fifteen, and we're happy to see him shoot well because. The, the longer the year goes, the better everyone's defense gets. And if you can't make shots, then, then you cannot beat good teams. Coach, uh, is it too early to focus a big picture on like how far the program has come in the last year? I mean, the wins and losses isn't the only thing, but you have, it seems like, even more stability within the program top to bottom. And you guys are, like you said, fighting for a cold conference championship. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to ignore. It's, it's an elephant in the room, you know, but you, you still got to eat it one bite at a time. And for us, that's just one day at a time. Um, we're just trying to get better every day. Tomorrow we're going to be off. I'm going to be recruiting. And um, then we'll come back Monday, uh, start preparing for UT Martin. And uh, hopefully the guys, you know, bring it. They, whatever it is that we do on Monday, they bring it. Whatever it is Tuesday and so forth. So uh, it's just one day at a time, but you can't ignore that we, that we feel like We've at least made some progress from, from year one to year two. But, but we're still not where we, where we need to be. We, we never will be where we need to be.
Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys coming.